Alright guys, I have two videos for you today because I'm going to be on vacation so I won't be able to post next week. So, this uh, video is going to be a tutorial on how to re-sticker your cube. Now, as you can see my V-Cube, you can't see it as well on camera, but in real person these stickers are getting kind of beat up. And it looks pretty nice on camera, I gotta admit, but I'm not really liking, although there's a, a lot of white on here. So... I'm going to re-sticker this, and if you've seen my review of this V-Cube, it came with a box and stickers. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my stickers out, and I'll get back to you. Alright guys, I got my stickers out, so first thing I want to do is I want to peel these off. And you want to take maybe something like a screwdriver, you could use your nail, but I'm going to go ahead and do this with all of your stickers. Alright guys, all my stickers are off, and I'll tell you now that um, it's a little harder putting on stickers when it's pillowed because, you know, the stickers might curl up in here, uh, but this is the only cube that I can re-sticker because I don't need to re-sticker any of my cubes because all my other cubes have great stickers, except for maybe this cube. But, so, your stickers should be on a transfer sheet, and if not, then you can put them on separately or individually. So what you're going to want to do is you want to take, peel this off slowly on the corner. And then you're going to want to go slowly in a kind of diagonal direction. Then once your tr this sheet is off, your sticker should be on a transfer sheet. And you're going to want to take it to the cube. And you're going to want to make sure that it's aligned really good. So, just like this. Especially on a pillow cube. Then once you, you kind of just put on with the middle first at least. That's how I do it. And you want to make sure that your cube is straight, too, and not, like, crooked. So once that's on, you kind of just have to stick on the rest, like, kind of forcefully at first. And if you're doing it this on a pillow cube, then it might feel like the plastic is bubbling up, but the stickers probably aren't, because if you're pressing them down, it should be sticking to the plastic um, on the cube the most, so... What you're going to want to do is, you, since it's on this transfer sheet and won't scratch, you can just kind of rub it on a table on a hard surface to get the stickers on real well, because you don't want it peeling off. And I have re-stickered this black before, because the black stickers that came with it weren't very good. So, um, what I had problems with is when I was peeling off, the stickers would come out, so I had to press it down harder. So, you just kind of want to make sure that all your stickers are on really good. This one is kind of bubbled, I can tell. Alright, so once you have it like that, you can pull from the corner on the first one. Now, the corners will probably come up because, you know, it's kind of hard to get your corners on pretty good. And then you want to peel slowly from the corner. i got another side sticking up. Pillowed cubes are definitely the hardest to sticker because of why it's pillowed. I mean, on this cube, there'd be no pillowedness, and a transfer sheet would stick on flat, and there would be no um, bubbling. So, pillow cubes are a lot harder to sticker. I did it on my black, and my black looks pretty good. I got, I was happy with that. I got good results with that. Now I'm just trying to get it on my blue side. And you can kind of see right there that when I'm peeling this off, this sticker's coming up. So you kind of just want to press in all sections of where you see it coming up. And then you start from the beginning again. And you look for another side that's coming up, which would be these corners. So I'm going to press those corners down good. Make sure they're stuck to the plastic really good on the cube. Then you can kind of start again. As you can see, one of them's down, but this one's coming up. So I gotta press this one down more. And once you do that, you can pull up. And now my center's coming a little up, so you press that down. Now I keep going, and these edge pieces stayed on good. And that corner stand up good. So once you have it on like that, you kind of just want to press the stickers down even more. So I'm going to press these down pretty good. Excuse 
you don't want these coming up because then you might ruin all your stickers after you just put them back on. Alright, so I have them on now and I got my placement pretty good. And anyway, that's how you re-sticker a pillowed cube, I guess. You could you could use the same method. In fact, I would use the same method for stickering a 3x3. Three three. Anyway, um, that's how you sticker a cube and... Again, I won't be posting any videos next week because I'll be gone. And don't forget to leave a comment to um, tell me what kind of videos you guys want to see because, you know, I don't want to be making videos just that I want to make. I want to make videos that you guys want to see. So, anyway, that's my video and kind of tutorial on how to stick your cube. And thanks for watching.